Hi there, Sonia here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, I shared that big box of balloons and this is the design that I've decided to share with you today. Now, if this cutie looks a little bit familiar in appearance, I have actually done that video before on how to make a turtle. However, this time it's with a bit of a twist where the balloons that are used are just quick links as well as this 260 here. So if you are excited to get into this video, make sure to give a thumbs up and let's get into it. So normally I might go for my legenda. However, today I am reaching for my trusty hand pump because I do prefer to use a hand pump when I'm working with quick links. Since the legenda really isn't designed to be inflating larger balloons over a period of time, so I'd just stick with the hand pump for whenever I want to do those. So this design exclusively features 12 inch quick links. However, if you had six inch, I'm sure it'd do a beautiful job as well. Just a little bit smaller. <laughs> Starting off with the shell, I'm going to do seven pumps. My pump inflates as it goes in and as it goes out. So if yours is only one directional, make sure that you do enough pumps accordingly. Just tying that one off. I'm going to go ahead to inflate the balloons for the legs and these are going to be inflated with five pumps. What you'll notice with the balloon is it's still quite underinflated, which is perfect because we are going to be twisting each of these in two. For each of these quick links, I'm going to locate the middle and I'm going to squeeze and turn five times. Now that twist may want to escape as you do the next part, but just try and make sure that you are holding that secure. Also for this next part, make sure you're twisting in the same direction that you did when you did the first set. Once you kind of twist it to a certain point, before twisting it off completely, you can try shifting the air into one bubble on either side if you find it's looking a little bit uneven. Once you're happy where it is, just make sure you are firmly holding these balloons. And now I'm just going to tie these two together. This next part of the design, we are going to tie the shell to the legs and we're going to do that at either side. making sure that's tied nice and securely with a double knot. When it comes to securing the other side, I'm going to make sure that the balloons are nice and close together just before wrapping that around. Double knotting to secure in place. Oh, come back. All right, so, so far it's looking good, but now let's go ahead to add the head. Ahead to add the head. Here I'm also going to inflate the head with seven pumps. You might find this next little bit fiddly if you're not used to working with underinflated balloons. Before tying this knot off, I'm going to hold this securely on this end. Now because the quick link is underinflated, I just want to manipulate it a little bit so that most of the air is bulging out to one side opposite to where I'm going to tie this knot. Bringing it in as close as I can to the surface of the balloon. Knot it once. And a second time. Rotating and positioning the head so that the knot or knot cluster is together. We're just trying to keep it a bit more hidden from the head of the turtle. He's looking so cute so far. Just going to soften it a bit. Here I'm just going to locate a nozzle. That's all the 260 in the juncture created by the balloon head, leg and shell. Bring that all the way around, keeping it nice and firm against the shell. And finding that point where it meets back in the middle. That's 
where I'm going to twist it off and let's remove the rest. Like before, I'm just going to locate a end here that can secure that with a double knot. If in here is looking a little bit messy or tangled, you can go ahead to use a cutter or scissors to remove those excess. I find if I just want to play around with the positioning a bit, if I ease the rim of the shell into that join a little bit further, that can help bring the head a little bit closer as well. And there we have the finished turtle design. So I'm going to start off by doing the eyes. Because I'm going to lay down some white on it soon, I just want that to dry before I do that. Ooh, the rain's starting to pick up. So when drawing my eye, I pick a spot on the design so that it helps me to create balance when I do it on the other side. So I'm going to noisy, align it to this part of the shell. What I've created is a flatter bottom on the design and then we've got the more rounded eye shape on top. Reaching next for a green marker and I'm going to do some spots on his body. my orange I'm going to create some swirls on the shell and I might even stick in some other shapes that may or may not resemble a heart just flicking the marker backwards and forwards to create this last part For the final part, just taking my white marker, which is a Posca paint pen. Adding some shine into the eye. Kind of free form wherever I do those. Just creating something that I think looks nice. And there we have our finished turtle. Now just for a bit of fun, I have tied in here a 160. You can also use a 260. I picked a colour that I don't tend to reach for much. But I just created a nice tight loop. <laughs> and it converts it instantly into a very cute wearable. Speaking of, I actually came up with a different design to share with you today other than this. And if you watch right to the end, you can see a sneak peek of that, which will come as a tutorial in another video. I just want to get the right colour for it. I think it makes a very cute addition being able to walk around with a turtle on your arm as you do. <laughs> and there you have it, how to make a quick link turtle which also features a 260. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much. I enjoyed sharing it with you. After I had the suggestion of a quick link teddy bear, it got me to thinking of of the designs that could be made with a quick link that aren't a teddy bear. That's where the idea today came from, the turtle and this koala. Now if you haven't liked this video yet make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already why not subscribe because I can't wait to share more fun designs with you. Thank you so much for helping me to put a positive twist in your life and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!